This is my reaction to Air, official trailer. Let's commence. 1984 has been a tough year. Our sales are down, our growth is down. Jimmy, I brought you in here down. to grow the basketball business. Been People looking... don't know what the hell a Nike is. What's a Converse? NBA All-Star Shoe. There's nothing cool about Nike. You would have to have Little a pretty know. compelling pitch. I can tell them the one thing the other companies can't compete with. Our basketball division is terrible. I do not love it. I don't think it's going to work. This is where you come up with a brilliant Matt. idea that no one else can see. Let's hear it. I got it. I found him. Who's that? Jesus? Take Can't afford it. I'm willing to bet my seat. career on one guy. My name's Sonny Vaccaro. I'm with Nike. Do you typically make it a habit of showing up at people's front doors unannounced? <laughs> I don't like to take no for an answer. Oh, oh, oh man. Here we go. Trouble you now. Do here. This is what I do. I find you players, and I feel it this time. Okay, it's risky. When you were selling sneakers out of the back of your Plymouth, that was risky. Don't change that now. For a rookie? Yes. Who's never set foot on an NBA court. If that's the literal definition of rookie. Yeah. What's the plan? We build a shoe line around just him. I need the greatest basketball shoe that's ever been made. <laughs> Who's the player? No pressure. Michael Jordan. MJ. I like your haircut, Ben Affleck. You embody the 80s, sir. Marlon Wayans. And Chris Tucker. Riley Davis. I'll do the robot. I believe in your son. I believe he's here in the 80s rock. rock. The story is going to make us want to fly. But the shoe is just a shoe. Until my son steps into it. Outfit. Air Jordan. I don't know. Seriously? Iffy. Maybe it'll grow on me. Motorhead! As is well documented on my channel, ladies and gentlemen, I love everything 80s related, and that is well documented in this trailer. We're going back to the 80s, not back to the future, back to the past, ladies and gentlemen, and checking out the story of Sonny Vaccaro, who worked for Nike back in the day, and then decided that he was going to hitch his wagon to young NBA rookie Michael Jordan. The rest is freaking history, ladies and gentlemen. The brand becoming iconic Air Jordan. We all know the deal, ladies and gentlemen. And this tells us how that came to be. It looks it looks like it will be enjoyable. To be honest with you, the specifics of the story are not known to me. So coming in just completely blind, watching the film will give us a, a sense, a feeling of how the story went down. I do know Michael Jordan is not depicted as a character in this film. Only his parents, ladies and gentlemen. Ben Affleck and Matt Damon on screen again doing their thing together. These two men intrinsically linked in the Hollywood system, ladies and gentlemen, coming through together. That moment of triumph back in the day, 1997's Good Will Hunting, putting them both on the map, winning them best original screenplay. And here they are many, many years later doing the story of how Air Jordan came to be here. In this movie, Air... Courting a legend. Along with Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, the film also stars Jason Bateman, Chris Messina, Marlon Wayans, Chris Tucker, and Viola Davis, ladies and gentlemen. On top of that, also Matthew Maher, Tom Papa, Julius Tennant, Joel Gretsch, Gustav Skarsgård, Barbara Sukowa, Jessica Green, and Dan Bukatinsky. Matt Damon, also in terms of his performance, it looks somewhat it looks somewhat light-hearted, obviously. There's comedic moments there, but at its core, it's going to be a drama, ladies and gentlemen. Again, someone with an idea, someone with a plan, getting some headwinds, getting some opposition, but sticking, sticking to his story, sticking to what he knows will work and trying to push it through. And we know how it all works out in the end. Sonny Vaccaro justified... 
I don't know if we're desensitized or not. I didn't see a single explosion. I didn't see a single car chase. I didn't see a single instance of guys chasing each other on foot and jumping from rooftop to rooftop. I saw no lasers, no superheroes. I saw no nonsense, which is absolutely fine. This is going to be a drama, ladies and gentlemen, a biographical drama inspired by true events. So what we're wanting to see here is the interactions between all of these characters. We want to see the journey that our main character goes on. Having, you know, trying to save Nike, who at the time, as you saw in the trailer, were distinctly uncool. They needed a hit. They needed something huge to get them up and running again. And Vaccaro provided that. Damon looks like he will embody the character decently enough. Also like the vibes being projected by Ben Affleck. They're a bit aloof, but he's doing his thing. So this looks like it'll be an enjoyable drama, ladies and gentlemen. And that's, at the end of the day, that's all you can ask for. Entertainment, you know, whether there's fireworks or not, if there's enough interest, if there's enough interest in the conflicts that we see in the human drama, then anything can still be very enjoyable stuff indeed. I'm pretty sure that Ben Affleck won't leave it up in the air. I'm pretty sure he, along with Matt Damon, will deliver in this one.